Welcome to Garden Elegance by Evie. For those who are new to my channel, you are now watching the Succulent ID series where you will learn more about succulent names, care, and propagation. This is the common Echeveria cubic frost. Cubic frost is a beautiful succulent that grows up to 8 inches tall providing offsets and creating attractive rosettes. Leaves are fleshy and distinctively upturned. They are lilac to lilac pink in color if it takes in more sunlight. It has a distinctive waxy leaves that gives it a frosty appearance. This is the variegated Echeveria cubic frost. It is a very rare succulent plant. This is an extremely fragile plant with leaves that snap off easily. Instead of just lilac leaves, the variegated has different colored margins. Every leaf is unique playing with the shades of lilac, silver, green, white, and pink tones. This plant is known to be expensive and it's not recommended for beginners. Variegated plants tend to grow slower since they lack chlorophyll. They grow best under indirect sunlight. Under stress, they have the risk to revert back to its original appearance. Should your variegated succulents show signs of reverting, you can take steps to keep it colorful by pruning out any solid colored growth. If you don't prune the non-variegated leaves soon enough, they will overgrow the entire plant and you will lose your plant's variegation. Just place the cuttings on the soil and it will grow into a new plant. Growing this variegated plant can be a little tricky and meticulous, but a beautiful plant to add in your collection. This is the Crested Echeveria Cubic Frost. Crested Cubic Frost is a really rare mutated version of Echeveria Cubic Frost. It tends to flatten out and creates a wide flat surface that gives it a fan look. Crested Cubic Frost can grow up to 8 inches tall and creates an attractive clusters of lavender rosettes. This succulent plant is actually a very rare find, but they require the same type of care as regular succulents. General rule on growing succulent is to plant them on a well-draining soil. It applies to cubic frost as well. They are prone to root rots when seated on a soil that does not drain well. Lots of sunlight is what they wanted. They get leggy pretty fast if they don't get the right amount of sun they needed. Direct filtered light works well for them. Be careful never to let water sit on the rosettes cause it can cause root rot or fungal diseases that can kill your plant. Water them when the soil is dry. Give it a good soak of water until it drips out of the pot's drainage hole. Allow soil to completely dry out in between waterings. Because Echeveria cubic frost is a hybrid, in order not to lose the characteristics of the plant, it is best to propagate it by stem or leaf cuttings. From spring to summer, the rosettes produce lovely orange and bell-shaped flowers. It truly adds beauty to your garden because it attracts hummingbirds and bees. <music>